When building games, as game developers, we generally think about gameplay features and game design so we can provide a great player experience. But what happens after we launch our game? Well, like most game developers, we want our games to continue being successful post-launch. One way we can do this is to understand how players continue playing our games and to see which parts of our games work really well with players. Luckily, with the Adjust SDK, you can implement ways to track metrics in your games. If you have in-app purchases or ads in your games, maybe you'd like to have a better understanding of how they're received with your player base. With the Adjust SDK, you can view the information collected via the Adjust dashboard and make informed decisions about how to improve your game. To get started, you can grab the SDK from the Asset Store. Links to the SDK will be provided in the description of this video below. You will also need to sign up for an account with Adjust. Creating your first Adjust app. Let's create your first app in the Adjust web dashboard, which can be found at dash.adjust.com. Click the Create the Add New App button, which can be found in the center of the dashboard. If you have an existing app, you can add your app ID to the App ID field. But if you're currently in development and don't have a released app yet, you can select the I don't have an app ID yet field and type in an app name. We are currently working on Android, so we selected the Android platform, but you can select any platform you intend to release your game to. We will also need to add the currency that we intend to track, so select whichever currency is relevant to you. Once finished, you can click the Create App button to create the app. You will also get additional options to set up custom events. These events can also be added later. Setting up the Adjust SDK in Unity. In the Unity Editor, open up the Package Manager under Windows Package Manager. In the Package Manager window, instead of selecting assets currently in Project, click the drop-down and select My Assets instead. Find the Adjust SDK and select Download. Once downloaded, click the Import button to import the asset into your project. To set up the Adjust SDK in your scene, drag the Adjust Prefab from Assets, Adjust, Prefab to your scene. It is important to note that by default, the Adjust SDK will not function while running in the Unity Editor. Your app must be built and be running on your target device. The Adjust component has a few parameters we can configure. Firstly, we can change how Adjust is initialized. By enabling the Start Manually field, we can initialize the Adjust SDK ourselves by calling the Adjust.Start method in our own code base after setting up our Adjust configurations. Otherwise, the Adjust SDK will be initialized in the Await call via the Adjust component. Event buffering allows us to stagger how frequently information is sent from our game to the Adjust servers. By enabling this option, we stagger and combine events together to be sent as a batch instead of sending individual events more often. The Send and Background field allows our game to send information even if the game is currently not the active app on our device. The Log Level option allows you to debug what's getting sent and is configured to display based on a severity level. If you want to debug everything, then setting your log level to verbose will show all logs, while setting your log level to suppress will hide every log message. Your app token is a unique token which you will get from the Adjust Web Dashboard. The app token binds your game with an associated app within the Adjust ecosystem. This allows your game to send information and events to the Adjust services so you can later view aggregated information in the dashboard. To get the app token, find your app in the Adjust Web Dashboard and click the arrow. This will show quick information such as your app token and additional settings that you can configure. Copy the app token and in the Unity Editor, paste the token into the Adjust Components App Token field. Lastly, we have the environment. As you're developing your game, you want to use a sandbox type of environment since this is a non-production environment where you can run tests when deploying the app. Once you are ready to go into production, remember to set the environment variable back to production. Tracking events. The strength of the Adjust SDK comes from being able to track events from your game and being able to visualize that data in the dashboard. In the Adjust dashboard, we can add custom events we want to track via our app settings. Click the arrow to bring up the quick settings and click All Settings. Navigate to Settings, Events. Toward the bottom of the panel, find the Create New Event section and type in an event you would like to track. Once created, copy the token and head back into Unity. In our example game Unity Royale, we want to see whether or not players actually use the shuffle button. To enable tracking, we need to construct an Adjust event and pass in the copy token as a parameter. With the newly constructed event, we simply call the method track event and pass in our Adjust event. When the game is deployed to our mobile phone, when we interact with the shuffle button, we can see in our dashboard if any interactions were registered. To view statistics in our dashboard, click the arrow in our app and click Statistics. You may get a message stating that you have no production data yet if you are using this for the first time. 
Remember that we set our environment to Sandbox in the SDK, so we must also set the dashboard to Sandbox. On the right-hand corner of the dashboard, click the filter icon. Towards the bottom of the panel, ensure that the checkbox Sandbox Mode is enabled. Once enabled, click Apply so we can switch our dashboard to Sandbox Mode. When the dashboard reloads itself, a grid will show you the different kinds of interactions on a given tracker. We can see our event in the column and see the interactions we have with the button. We can also see additional information, including the number of installs, sessions, revenue, and the average number of users to help determine how our game is performing over time. With the dashboard, we can also view the information as a graph. To the left of our filter in the dashboard, we see a bar graph icon. By clicking on the bar graph, we can now view our interactions as a graph. The graph view allows us to filter our data so we can view different events and how each event performs on a daily or hourly basis. Revenue Tracking With Adjust Events, we can also track revenue. For example, if we had a booster pack of cards, we can track the number of finalized purchases by calling the Set Revenue API and passing in the amount and the currency code. Adjust will automatically convert the currency you track from your game to the desired currency you set in your dashboard. You can also deduplicate the revenue for more accurate tracking by setting a transaction ID to the event and calling the set transaction ID method. Tracking events with parameters. Events provide meaningful information on how your players are interacting with your game. We can also extend events and provide custom parameters to our events. For example, let's say we wanted to see how each card performs with our player base. We want to know which card is the most popular and which card is the least popular. Let's head back to our dashboard and create a new event called Card Usage. In the Settings panel, head over to Raw Data Exports, Real-Time Callbacks. Edit the Card Usage event and add in a callback URL. The callback URL is your own custom endpoint, which the Adjust Services will send a GET request to. Back in Unity, we can add custom parameters as key value pairs. In our Adjust event, we call the Add Callback Parameter method and pass in our key and value as strings. Adjust will append the custom parameters to your callback URL like so. Adjust provides partner parameters that can be shared with both module partners, such as Unity Ads and non-module partners for custom integration. For more information, we recommend looking at the Adjust documentation about integrated partners, which is linked in the description below. Deep Linking Deep linking in your game allows you to provide a link to guide your users to a designated location in the app. The Adjust SDK allows you to pull information from the Deep Link URL, but you will need to set up deep linking in your app on a native level. For iOS, this will involve configuring your app through Xcode, and for Android, you will need to use Android Studio or Eclipse to configure this. When receiving a deferred deep link, by default, Adjust SDK will try to open that link. However, in case you don't want Adjust SDK to open the link, you have a chance to obtain a deferred deep link. You can then instruct the Adjust SDK to not open the link and choose where you want to navigate your user to. The Adjust SDK provides you with a powerful way to track how well your app is doing over time. With the data provided, you can tweak your game to alleviate issues that you are noticing among your users. To learn more about how you can integrate the Adjust Unity SDK, check out the GitHub documentation and the Adjust Help Center linked below. Thanks for watching.